Okay, today we're doing a little bit of maintenance work before we run the motor. I've heard a lot of tips from Zhongshan owners from the Zhongshan boards on Facebook as well as uh, in, as well as YouTube and a lot of them say that the starter chain is always a problem on these bikes and when they start to you know lose tension the kickback from the motor sometimes when you shut it off uh, tends to snap these uh, snap the chains so there's a couple options out there you can get a stronger chain um, but one thing they uh, say to do when you first get your bike is to always lube the chain because they come dry and sure enough when I popped off the cover it was dry so I'm lubing this today and then I'm gonna check the tension today it's great I mean the tension's good for now I'm assuming that this is gonna lose tension over time but um, I'll check on that but I lubed it with normal uh, chain lube motorcycle chain lube and just FYI these bolts there's four bolts one is 30.5 millimeters, so one is shorter. The others are 40.5 millimeters. The shorter bolt goes up here next to the starter. So just in case you pop these all off and you uh, end up mixing them all together, front one is the shorter one. So we're gonna do that today. And the next step is we're gonna go ahead and pop off uh, the valve cover and do a valve adjustment as well, because I heard that valves come in tight from the factory. So right before we run this and break this in, a couple things that you wanna do is probably do those things. So uh, let's get to the valve cover. All right, now that we're done with the starter chain, we've moved on to the valve cover. So one thing that you're gonna need to do to get the valve cover off is pull off the uh, oil cooler. Here's a condition of the oil cooler from the factory. Some of these fins are bent, so I might go off and replace these this uh, oil cooler. I haven't done anything to the bike, but yeah, there's looks like some of these fins uh, came bent from the factory. Another thing is uh, these valve covers, so I had to pull that off. The valve cover has eight millimeter bolts, just like the starter cover. These bolts were all the same size. Uh, one thing I did find, just like they said that I'd find, is the decompressor um, uh, Decompressor is not flipping back. That should flip back, because there is a spring in there somewhere, and that should flip back. That's not happening, so they were right. I might have to look into that. I know OO Racing has a uh, stronger uh, stronger spring so I might go with them and do some research online and again they were right uh, Peter Ovale everyone else who has a ZS190 motor they were right these valves are tight they were really tight I had to uh, back this out and I had to back out the exhaust valve and uh, 0.10 millimeter spacing for the intake 0.15 for the exhaust and uh, yeah, just like they said, right on, it was too tight. So do some pre-maintenance work before you break in the motors, starter chain and valve cover, I mean the valve adjustment, and definitely check this, see if your decompressor uh, springs back. Mine does not, so FYI. Thanks guys, in the next video, we'll be doing the official break-in.